Well, despite Margaret's criticisms, the two women in Mo Better Blues do create splendidly contrasting characters. Cinder Williams and Joa Lee came to the Venice Film Festival, and I talked to them there about the film and about working with Spike Lee. He asked me a lot of questions, and I had a lot of input with with my character. He would say, what do you think her background is? Where do you think she she's from? What's her occupation? So he allowed me to, to have a lot to say, and we did do a lot of improvisation in our rehearsals, and it was, it was fun. You don't go overboard. You know, you don't take advantage of that. If he likes something during a take, he'll, he'll leave it in if you improvise, and if not, he'll tell you, don't leave that out. I don't like it. So it's very, it's pretty cut and dry, but he's, he's pretty lenient in that respect. What happened to me? You had me waiting on him for 20 years. 20? Oh, my watch must be going slow. It says 15 years, but I get it fixed. So how you doing? Baby, we should have been down the club. We was kicking butt. I mean, you should have been there. Good, I'm glad it went well. Well, I wish you were there. I don't really find so much of the characters in me. I mean, there's that soft spoke, you know, she's all, a lot of the characters that I played in Spike's films are very independent and very soft spoken. And uh, I think it's just an image of me that he wants to capture. I wouldn't just generally say, that's me. What would you do, Blick, if you couldn't play anymore? Probably roll up in the corner and die. <coughs> We're in Paris. I urge you not to buy them the same dress. I urge you. Yeah. We are trying to rush for the plan. You said it was a million and one shot. They wear the same dress on the same day and see each other. <laughs> Want to bet again? You know, Spike is very quick when he's shooting his own scenes. He doesn't shoot, you know, 10 takes with his stuff. He's like, OK, you know, and Ernest Dickerson usually directs Spike when Spike is acting. And uh, he, he trusts Ernest very much because they've worked together for many years. I think Spike is very, very confident in himself, too. So he doesn't take much time with his takes. If he's in the right spot, you know, he'll just go in and do it one or two times, and that's it. You can have your Broadway, give me Lenox Avenue. Because he has so much confidence in himself, and he is not afraid to voice his opinion about things. He's not afraid to get out there and work and do what needs to be done, whereas some people were not so adamant about their feelings and passionate. He just goes out there and does it, and that's what needs to be done. Yeah. You can't sit around and wait for someone to hand you something, and with she's got to have it. Spike had, uh, you know, he had to go around and beg for money, basically, and got sick and tired of, I mean, before that, he was trying, he was going to companies and trying to get just a, a commercial or just a, a music video. No one would even give him that. So, I mean, also, the success is not overnight. You know, and I think that's just a, a misconception about Spock. He's been working at this for many years. He went, you know, he's been in school. He's kind of paid his dues. He didn't assume that someone was just going to hand him something on a platter. He just went out and took it. I think controversy is good. That's the only time change occurs. Like, do the right thing. He made people mad, and that was the best thing. We were getting to a point where we were just lackadaisical about things. We were just hanging out and not trying to do anything. But when he made that film, people got mad. And yeah. that's wonderful, and that's good. You need to, to make people think, yeah. make them talk. A lot of people have described do the right thing is you're going and sit in, you go in and sit in a the theater, and that film just kind of takes you you know, and does that and throws you back in your seat. And then you're just sort of like left hanging and stuff, like, like having to think. You know, people don't want to think. You want to go to the movie and be entertained, you know, by Rambo, you know, or something like that. And uh, you just want to be taken out of your experience, and that takes you into an experience. You know, you experience that film, and you have to think for yourself, you know, because we're, I think it's about taking responsibility for oneself. 